Hey guys, um, so I have a video for you guys. Um, look at this, this is what I wore today. A cardigan, I love cardigans, and this top that I showed you guys on the other video. Yeah, so there is cash when I had leggings on, covered my butt, of course. So that, yeah. All right, so this video is for certain people. Um, it might not be for everyone because um, for people that either don't go to college, never considered it, or whatever, this is not the video for you. It's mainly con uh, for those who are considering college or have been and can relate to some of the things I'm going to talk about. Uh, but for me, basically, I'm just sharing from experience and what I learned so far, like what I went through or what I should have done better. And that's where this came from. As you can see, I wrote everything down for you guys so I can be on track. All right. So college is not for everyone. I Yeah, we are all aware of that. You know, you can easily do whatever you'd love to do without having to go to school. But for me, I've always felt like it's good to have it just to keep with you, to have that knowledge inside your head. It's good to have it, you know, um, so you can have some intelligent conversations or, you know, um, just be more open minded, uh, be a critical thinker, they say. Um, and I come from a line of, well, yeah, a line of people who have gone to school. So I really had no excuse not to, you know. You know, my dad earned his master's. Um, my brother graduated from an engineering program. Uh, my sister is going to school right now, but basically we'll be done in a few years. Yeah, um, for us, especially the tribe that I come from, it's school is so important. Like that's what defines you, you know. A lot of people have got their master's, they got this, they got that. You know, it's just like you, you have to. It's almost, yeah, you have to. Um, so for me, I'm proud to say, you know, having my bachelor's, that's really meant a lot to me. Even though I'm going back to school, it's still, when I look at the shelf, you know, I'm thinking of the hard work and, um, all the things I had to do. So the first time you are considering college is to visit college, um, get an idea. And usually this is good when you have people around you that are going to school as well. Go with them, you know, um, if you have kids, you know, take them. I think that's one of the things that I heard that it's good to take them to see the campus and, um, you know, kind of get an idea of what goes on, you know. You might see your mom, like, doing her homework and all that stuff. It kind of puts you in that environment, you know, so you get comfortable with it, you know. Um, like, I have my nieces go with my sister when they're, uh, she's going to school. So that really kind of just gets you, you know, just to have an idea, you know. You really, um, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, younger kids, you know, they just, or like, where are you? Like, one time she thought that my mom was somewhere else other than school. She was like, where, where, what are we doing? Where are the computers? And where's the library? And why are we in the library? But, but she's young. So that's one of the things. Visit a college and get, um, you know, get an idea of how it is, how it feels. And do that early, you know. If you're really like, man, I'm thinking about college. I don't know. Yeah, you know, go with your parents, you know. Look around and see what it's all about. See people walking with backpacks, busy, copying their hand, you know, running to class. You know, you might have an idea just by, you know, that. Um, for the major, if you're considering a major, really explore. And I mean, um, figure out, let's see, you know, first of all, what your major is. And, um, and figure out, let's see, explore, like, what the major, um, what the type of things that, you might be learning and what type of jobs are available out there with whatever the major is that you pick. Um, sadly, I didn't do my research when I picked my major and that's one of the reasons I'm going back to school. I really didn't think hard about it. I kind of went into it because I liked it. And liking is one thing, but when you really want to have a career, it's a different story. Um, you know, I enjoy music, listen to it, but I don't think I want to major in music. You know what I mean? So exploring kind of lets you know what where you're going to be heading. Um, for example, there's many websites that tell you, like, the major, what jobs you're going to get, um, that type of thing. Visit all those, you know. See what people in that career, like, what jobs they have and how much they pay, those kinds of things. Um, and, like, what is a typical day for somebody? Like, they list that now. You can see, like, a psychology, what are typical things that they might be doing once in a while. I mean, things change, but they can give you an idea. So that's really important, um, at least... You know, gosh, this hair is just a mess, you guys. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's one of the things you could do for yourself is discover the major completely. And even ask around, like visit places where people like that work. Um, if you want to be an accountant, you know, visit an accounting firm and see what the person does and, and 
ask them questions. And that's what I realized I could have done better um, last time when I was, you know, um, yeah, like a typical day, you know, what are some of their frustrations daily, you know, things like that. It's really exploring, like completely exploring. And sometimes you're not sure what you want to do, that's fine. But when you do, try to figure out more about it. Um, it's like if you say you like something and you major in it, that's a different, you're going to be like changing your major so many times and you're frustrated. And changing majors will keep you at school for like years. <laughs> Um, really. Um, um, the other thing is to have a support team, you guys who are going into college, because you're going to go through some hard times. I am telling you, sometimes when you're so frustrated, nothing seems to be going right. You're overwhelmed. Do you want, and I, I, I don't know, but I'm going to just bet on this, that everybody's going to have tears at one point in their lives when they're going to school, because either it's because of that F or you're just overwhelmed at all the stuff you have to do and have life. You just get so frustrated. And sometimes you feel like you, you're going to mentally break down. I swear, like you're, I don't know, some grades just, grades just hurt so much. Like, what? An F? Yeah, you're going to get at least one F in your lifetime. And you're going to have arguments with teachers. Um, gosh. Yeah, you need a support team. Um, through the rough times and the mistakes you make, you know, um, sometimes you realize, oh, crap. I'm in the wrong major, I should have done this. And then you have to change everything all over again. That's frustration. Um, and we all go through it sometimes. And this is really coming from the heart because I know I've, I've gone through this stuff, you guys. Um, it's frustrating. Um, and have, or, you know, shock from grades. I remember my first, like, one of my first Fs, I just sat outside and was in tears because... I actually put effort into it. It's, it wasn't like, oh, I never showed up. I never did anything. I did everything right. It's just that I, the professor, I figured out later how he does things, and that's how I passed it next time around. So repeating a class and, and, and thinking of all those thoughts just can frustrate you when you break down. So it's okay. You break down, but you just lift yourself up again, and you come back. And uh, The next thing is a budget. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? Um, I have my nieces who's thinking about going to UC, whatever, and... When you ask her what she wants to do, she can't even tell you. Um, she's excited about it because she gets to live off, you know, off camp. I mean, on campus, and blah 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 blah. Those are the only reasons she can give you, and she really can't tell you anymore. Oh, I'm just I like it because I get to live things, and that's cool. But it's not a good way. You really have to budget everything out, like plan it, find out how much that school is gonna cost. If you live at home, how often are you gonna visit? How much is it gonna cost? And all these things. And yeah, you really need to budget it out and how much the meals and all that stuff. Your parents are paying for it and all that great stuff. And so, yeah, that's it, you guys. Bye.